looking at this moving water. We're gonna kinda learn how to break this apart and see if we can't catch some fish. prime example of where those fish will set up right on the downside of that obstruction if you can see here I'm kicking up and I can just hang out right here in this slack water and that's where those fish will set up and there's a little bit of that slick water get right along that current break I was gonna hold myself here in the current and fish There's a lot of current today. It's moving. So it's certainly, it's gonna be a little work today. So we're gonna go just on the other side where this current's coming down right here. I'm gonna cast right off to the edge of it behind that first boulder. Let that jig kind of just soak there for a minute. What I mean by this uh, the water, you can see this whole area here little bit slower moving. Um, I absolutely love that this time of year for smallmouth. But let's look a little bit let's look a little bit more closely. You can tell right over here that's some of the there's a there's some back current and a little slack water. It's always a good place to kind of that's always a good place fish will set up. And I try to avoid casting right into the main part of the current right here. I like to go just off of it. Let's fish a little bit. It's a big fish! Ugh. I missed one. Yeah. That's a much better fish. Woo! Another little back eddy right here. As 
you can see there's a lot of different movements. We've got a straight line of current coming down right here where my boat is. Kind of trace it all the way up. And then we've got these little areas where, the, where there's just kind of a slip spot in the water. Like right here. That's typically an area that, so the, that's kind of a current route. That's typically an area where these fish will kind of hang out to get out of that current. There's a lot, there's a bunch of current coming right here. I wouldn't make that pass directly into that current, but I would pass right off to the side, right on this current break. And again right here, there's a line of current, line of current, slack water right here. Right at the base of that rock. Here's a bunch of slick water. That's because right behind a the boulder. There's the current. There's the current. This will probably hang right there. This can be a little more tricky, but again, you're looking for that slick spot in the water. Take a look here. There's a little bit right here. Here, behind that rock. There's the current written right there and coming around this way. Big back eddy right there. Right at the base of these rocks here. A little bit of slick water. So you're literally looking for these points all that current. The fish can be right along that current break. Staging right there waiting for bait to come along here. So in the summer a lot of times I'll fish, I'll, I'll actually fish in the current because it, it can be cooler. There's a lot of oxygen there and the fish will hang out. That's three in a row. That's three right there. Gotta make sure you keep the slack out of your line. These fights are happening fast. That's another spot right here. I mean, it's a bad angle to fish it, but the fish will sit right on the edge of that current coming down. Let's see if this is going to work here. a lot better in these little areas right here. Oof. There's a little bit of a eddy right there. I just got bit. That's a tough cast to make though because you got to get it just right or the current will catch it and bring it down. Just like that. I wonder about little blade baits. If I can fish them effectively up here or not. I brought them with me. Let's see what I got. And these things snag pretty easy too, so this very well may be short lived. on the cotton cordell. That was in that current, just kind of popping it. And that's what I was afraid of. Huh? Why do you do that? It gives 
me pleasure. I don't know what that is. It's such a trout. That little Xenia spinner on there keeps that thing up in the water column. That's a pretty good bait, and so that fish is literally at the base of those falls. Kind of repositioned my boat. This thing is so nice in the current. I saw a big trout jump back there. Yeah, like trying to get up the waterfall. Gotta respect the ambition though. Right there, see him? Did you see him? He jumped again. That's a big brown. First cast on the on the little swim bait. What the hell? No. That's never good. Ah. Bless it. So that didn't that didn't feel right. Those suckers love swim bait. There's a smallmouth right there. Just sitting right where it should be. In that, in that slower moving water. Right where they should be. Yeah, when I fish this, I don't hardly do a thing. Just let that bait come back with the current. Also, looking at structure on the bank, um, you can see this current kind of coming down here. A lot of times fish either, either position themselves on the front side of that current or on the back side of that. That current's going to bring stuff right along here and that fish can really set up and take a full advantage of that opportunity. Alright guys, so hopefully that taught you guys a little something about kind of how to read the water. Um, what cast to make, um, how to utilize the current to the best of your ability, and how these fish utilize the current as well. Um, understanding those eddies and those current breaks and the obstructions just below the surface will help you kind of unlock the river secrets and help you be more effective. When you're beating the banks, you're looking for those lay downs, you're looking for little cuts, indentations along the bank uh, where there's back current and a little bit of area where those fish can kind of hang out and be predators and take advantage of bait coming by. Always remember guys, when you're on the river, be smart, be safe, wear a life jacket. Um, kayak can hit a rock at any time, spin you around, flip you over in, the ma in a matter of seconds. Even, even those of us who are seasoned river anglers, always be aware and respect the river. We're about to get off the water here, there's a big storm coming in. Thank you guys so much for watching.